everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you these really cute um, kind of book cards, is what I'm calling them. Um, now, this is quite different to my style in terms of what I'm using because I recently won a um, competition in a magazine. Well, it wasn't really a competition, I just found, I opened up the Making Cards magazine and found some cards that I had made and I had tagged the magazine online and found out I'd won Star Letter. So I received some freebies and one of the freebies was a rather large pack of Hunky Dory um, decoupage, I believe that's what it is. Sorry if I'm wrong to all those um, Hunky Dory fans. Um, I've used it very loosely over the years but um, it's not something that I've really been drawn to, it's just not really my kind of style. However, there was loads of it, and what, I think it's all the gold. I'm not a massive fan of loads and loads of gold. Um, um, but when you actually take that away, the images are beautiful, really, really lovely. Um, and I've had all sorts, I don't quite, I've, I've done it the best that I can um, and I've made it work for me and um, I've <laughs> probably <laughs> if you, any of those hunky dory fans would be looking at what I've done and be like oh my god what has she done but I I actually think they are gorgeous and I hope you agree and I was just going to show you um, how to make one of these with just all kinds of bits that I've got left here and this is all the little kind of off cuts from the two that I've done so what I have here, I'll show you the pink one first because they're a little bit different and this one I'm going to show you will be quite different because I actually ran out of all of the, the layering parts. I think that's the decoupage part where you kind of layer them all on top of each other. But I've done it very differently. So this is one of the background pieces that you would then layer up all the images on top of. I've actually just used it as a flat piece and I have stuck down all of these sides apart from this piece and I've used it as a little pocket and then one of these little pieces here, which I believe you're meant to stick on a card, I've actually made it into a little bookmark. So I'm calling this the book card and it's a perfect gift for that, you know, for, for any friends that you have that love books um, or any other crafty friends, because you could always change this and have little, um, little packets of like sequins and kind of bits and pieces like that. It'll make more sense as I show you through. But I've done this as a happy birthday card. I've die cut um, with a little flower punch some of the paper that came with it and I've just obviously sort of all matches. Distressed all the edges, it's got a really nice bind and I've used the same papers and then on the back again same papers from the corresponding ones and on the bottom there there was this little um, uh, little die cut that says handmade for you and then inside you have this. So I have done this kind of eclipse look here with the happy birthday so just die cut lots of the same card. I've used little parts of what are meant to be layered on here but I've just done well, you can see how many I've layered up there. Again, really not my style, but I really enjoyed doing this. And you can see there how it all comes to life. But what I've done with all of them is I've not stuck down the last one all the way around, just thinly with some tape on the outer parts. And again, it's got another little bookmark. And I love the little sentiments and things that are on them. Um, you know, I just picked out the pink for this particular one because that was the most prominent colour within these papers. Then you flip over again and you've got another one. You can see all the layers here on the side and I've layered up different bits. There are more to it, but I, this, you know, this is what I've done. Another little paper um, uh, bookmark, and I've laminated all of these as well, hole punched them and put some ribbon through. Again, I've die cut more little flowers there, and then that's that little pocket. And then the last one here, I've used these little um, like picket fence um, die cuts, and then this is the bigger one, and you flip it over, and it's where you can write your little message, and they could also use that as well for a bookmark. That one's not laminated, but that one fits in perfectly at the back. So that is my book card, and I absolutely adore it, and it will fit in, they give you in the pack, where did I put it? I'll show you at the end. They give you these um, boxes as well, flat pack, and it fits perfectly in one of those boxes. So that's that one. And then the other one I've done here was using all the yellow tones. And there was this bigger sentiment here, which again I love, and it makes a gorgeous big bookmark, just plain on the back. Again, you could write a message there before you laminate it. This one I've chosen, this yellow fabric um, ribbon. Again, so I've used the back image and then I've just um, stuck the top one here, but I haven't put it on foam. So it's just nice and uh, smooth there for that to sit in and out. Again, this is a happy birthday one. And again, oh, I haven't put a bind on that one. Oh, I need to do that, totally forgot. Um, this one's still under construction, actually, I've just remembered. 
so I need to feed in some other bits and pieces here but you can see again here this one this is a pocket at the back here and again that's all laid up and then this one is another pocket and again you can see there where I've started to layer it up and then on the back here I've done that one just got to stamp it but again it's got that little piece there so that's another one which is still under construction and I, I totally forgot actually but I've got all these bits here ready to finish that off so what I was going to do is go through and show you um, another one and this one is going to be like blue and green because I've got lots of this one here um, but there won't be so much if any of the layering side I'm going to show you all the pockets I'm going to give you all the dimensions all the map dimensions um, you know I'll show you how I've done this one here the little fence and little bookmarks and laminating and stuff so I'm going to show you all what you need then it's just a matter of whether you want because you know I'm aware that not everybody's going to have this hunky-dory stuff um, so you don't need to use that at all you could just do very flat pages like this one for example where they just have one bit that just kind of sits there but I think it's a really nice um, alternative to a normal card or a fun fold card is having something like this and it will sit up perfectly just like any other card on the mantle or wherever you know it may be so yeah so I'm going to go through all the measurements first and um, let's get cracking. Okay so you don't need much card not for the main um, it's just one page and then obviously the case and then these little bits here are just a uh, um, I guess I don't know what I describe them of but you'll know what they are in a minute okay so you are going to need a piece of eight and three quarters by six and you basically want to score at four and one eighth of an inch and four and five eighths of an inch that will give you a half inch bind in the middle so just burnish those score lines and then you will have your main case and then I always like to just um, round off my corners um, just to stop it kind of getting tatty and things like that. So that's basically what you want there. Then this is going to be your inside page and this one measures four by five and three quarters. Okay, and again, just on the right hand side, you just need to round off those two pieces because that's going to sit in like so. It's slightly shorter because obviously this is six, this is five and three quarters, I just didn't want that page overhanging. And then you've got these two tiny pieces and these are half an inch by again, oh, oh god, five and three quarters I believe, yeah. And with these ones here you just want to score right down the middle so you'll be scoring at um, a quarter of an inch. We will trim them a little bit again after we've stuck it, um, before we stick it down but it's just it's too fiddly, we're going to trim about another um, one eighth of an inch off but it's too fiddly to work with this really small piece, it's better working with it when it's like this and then trimming it after. Okay, so you just want to burnish down the centre there. Now I've decided to change the colour, I'm going to go for purple instead because looking through these papers although they've got blue all around here, I'm not actually going to be using any of that but in the image they've got a lot of purple and um, yeah I think it'll look nice so I'm going to do that so again just squeeze that one like so so that's um, don't need the scoreboard anymore so just get rid of that and then I'm going to be doing some distressing this is completely optional but I just think it, it just helps it really I mean if you look at that all of that has just been done with my sponge um, and I just think it looks rather nice so I've got here this is a stamping up perfect plum and you just want to go around come into the paper by about quarter of an inch just so that your mat when your, your mat lay, um, lays down on top obviously you won't see any of that white and you can see there you just get that darker distressed look on the outside but this is completely optional but I'm going to go around now and distress all of this all down inside the bind all here all around this paper and and then we'll stick that together okay so I've gone through and just distressed all the edges there so that's the page and then that's the um, actual case and this piece is obviously going to go inside like so I didn't distress these two bits because they're it's easier to do it once we stick them to our page so basically what you want to do is on one of them I'm just using some of my quarter inch red tape here and you just want to add red tape so along the top half this is the end of this roll so just cut this one off here 
can see that I've just done it along the top half, okay, so it folds like so, all right. Then on the next one, you want to do it on the bottom half because we're going to be putting these together, okay. So the top half on one and the bottom half so on the So just other. make sure you get all the air bubbles out of the tape, like so. And then with the bits that we have now got our tape on, so if I just bring this up, basically our page is going to stick in between those two pieces and then this piece underneath we will put glue on and that's going to stick inside our bind. But before we stick it down we need to just trim a little bit off because it will go over the edges. Um, it will kind of come over this gap here. So first of all grab your page and this will fit perfectly from end to end. So remember you're just sticking, so you just want to line up the middle score line of this to the edge of your page and just stick that down. Turn it over so I can make sure it's all within where it's meant to be. Like so. And then the other piece, just take off. She says, oh gosh, there we go. And then that one is going to go again. This um, middle score line needs to line up with the bottom purple bit of my page here. Don't stick it over this piece, <laughs> okay? Don't stick it over the white. You want to stick it on the page. So again, I'm just going to fold it in half so I can line up. It's a little bit fiddly, but it's all worth it. Like so, and like so. Again, make sure that's all stuck down. Okay, and then you will have that open up like so. And then that will stick in here. Now you can see it comes over ever so slightly. Okay, can you see just a little bit? Because obviously now we've added that paper inside. So although they were me it measured up as half an inch. So I'm just getting my scissors and you just want to take, it's not even an eighth of an inch, it's like a millimetre. You can see the little slither I'm taking off. And by the time you take that off this side and the other side, it will be enough. And then we can distress it all up and stuff. So again, don't worry if you're a bit wonky and things like that because you can hide it. You can stick your paper right over it if you want to. So again, a bit crooked at the end. There you go. So now, just sit it there, and I can see that sits now. You just basically want to bring up the side and make sure it all comes around, which it does. So get rid of all these little scraps. Okay, and then you now just want to go and distress all of that. So I'm just going to lie it down completely flat and just rub over, you can see there. Okay, so just cover okay, all of so that. Now you can see that's all distressed. Under here I've not bothered doing, and plus we're gonna be gluing. So now just some of my um, wet glue. You can use red tape as well, if you wanna put it a half inch um, width tape right across both of them there you can. But this just allows me to kind of, I've got that wiggle room, so I can spend some time making sure I get it all nicely lined up. Um, so again, just get that all in there, like so. And then you're going to pop it in, and it's not, remember, this is five and three quarters, this is six. So you should have a little bit overhanging at each end. I mean, if you don't want that and you want to do the whole thing at six, then go for it. Um, I just liked the thought of having the page, you know, inside the card just then I've got no risk of anything kind of overhanging. So I can now oh, wiggle it, I've completely moved it. Again, this glue dries very hard and completely clear, so I'm not worried. And I'm just gonna get my bone tool now and just work in both of those creases. And you just wanna make sure it stays within that half inch spine, because this is gonna set in a minute, so I need to like so, and move this other side. Get rid of all that glue there. There we go. 
So now that page, once obviously that that glue is set, but that page will now move both sides. Um, and then bring it all together. You can see now you've got a nice little book card. <laughs> it's seen the easiest name to call it, so that's what I'm calling it. So now we can have the fun part and start to do all of our um, layering in mats. And okay, so like I've that. got lots and lots of mats now to talk through. So first of all, for my front page here, let me grab my, um, where did I just put my scoreboard? Just easier to measure them each time on here. So front one, I'm going to have this one here and then I'm going to fussy cut around this bit and that's going to be a pocket that's going to sit on the top. See, it's got all these lovely purple bits and it's got the gold on there. Really, really pretty. And then I can slip something in there, another little bookmark or something for a pocket. So this top one here is four by five and three quarters. Okay, and that one is going to go on the front like so with that. Then the one going inside your page here, again, I believe is the same. Oh no, because now we've got this card here. So you can go right over that card if you want. I'm not, I'm going up to that card. So if I just sit this in here, you can see when it goes up to the card, they get that, like that. So this one measures um, three and seven eighths of an inch by five and three quarters. Then um, going into our page here, so I've got this one that's gonna be matted like that and again I'm going to create a pocket and everything which I'll go through with you and that one is three and five eighths of an inch by five and a half because remember these pages are shorter so you need two pieces of that because I've got this one for this side and this one for this side then you need um, the piece for the back here so I believe that's the same as the one before so yeah three and seven eighths of an inch by five and three quarters that's going to go like so and then I've got this piece here, which I'm going to put at the, along the side there, just again, just to tie colours in. And then that little fence is going to stick just on the sides and along the bottom. And that's going to be where my little message is going to go at the very end. So if you want to do exactly that, this little piece here is three quarters of an inch by five and three quarters. And the little fence, you might just have it as a nice decorative piece of paper. But this piece here measures um, one and three quarters by three and it's just between three and one eighth of an inch and three and a quarter okay so that's that one and then the back page is the same as the front it should be yep three and seven eighths of an inch by five and three quarters that's going to go on the back like so all right then a little bit for your spine so this piece here is going to run all the way up on the side there and this piece measures um, three quarters of an inch by five and seven eighths of an inch okay so I'm now going to go through um, with my wet glue I found that to be the best and I'm going to go and stick all these down um, for the first one here I've rounded off all of my four corners I will do that and show you, but I'm going to just go and get all the mats down and then kind of talk through that in a bit more detail. Okay, okay. so all my mats are in place. So got the nice little decorative piece here on the bind. This one on the front, I've rounded off all of the four corners. The one to the left, just the left hand side. The one in the middle, again, all four. This one, all four. And then this one, just the far right. And then I've put this little piece over the top and then this. Um, little fence. I've just put glue just around the edges, just along the bottom and just up that post there. So the whole thing you can see, I can lift it up there and that's going to be where I'm going to put, put my little message. Um, and I've got the one on the back as well. So now what I want to do for this front piece, which I've trimmed to the same um, length here, I'm going to round off the bottom bit so it's going to sit in perfectly over the top. But what I'm now going to do is I'm going to fussy cut all the way around here, not really close to it, I'm going to leave a border. I'm not going to go in and out the, the church, I'm just going to go right around it, kind of come down here and then around the couple there. And this is going to form a nice big pocket on the okay, front Okay, so I've just gone around there now and fussy cut that. So that is now going to stick over the top. So I'm just going to, do I want to use, no, I'm going to use my glue. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to use my glue just because it's here. I'm just going to put a really thin amount. I mean, I'm not worrying about this, like, it's not, it's literally just, it's not holding any weight or anything, it's just literally going to hold a little bookmark, so I'm not, uh, not too worried there. So just a very thin amount, 
So if you want to use red tape, you can. And it doesn't matter if it splodges and spreads out further because the, there's still plenty of room there for the, um, the bookmark or message, whatever it is you're popping in your pockets. Um, and then that will line up there perfectly. And just have that sit down there like so. Okay, so I'm not going to add a little sentiment or the bookmark yet until I've done everything and then I can start playing around with everything that I've got left. But if I just bring that up now, see how lovely that looks. And then we've got this lovely little pocket there to pop it all in. So now inside here, see I really like these scenes because they continue from each other. I cut them in half, so, so that one's done. The, with this one here, I think I'm going to die cut the happy birthday again. Um, this one, I am going to cut trim again I'm gonna I think go around just this piece here and I'm gonna stick it in the corner so again I can pop a little bookmark and something in there so that's what I'm gonna okay. do with this well, piece. There you go. that one's now all done so again I'm gonna run glue down this side here spread that out a bit with my fingers a little bit more than I want there we go and then I've just rounded off that right hand side there and again that will all sit in there nicely so again I've got room to pop a little sentiment or something there and I'm going to die cut some flowers so I'm just getting all kind of the base layers down and then we can kind of build up from that because we've got so much room to really add some bulk to this so that's the nice nice part about it and obviously if you are going to layer up with your foam um, then you've got the room to do that and I think if I remember I done one two three yeah th or four actually including this one here so there's four layers with the foam on the left hand side there and then again one two three on that side and you can see it all closes up nicely um, okay so that's that one that's that one this one here undecided um, so now I'm going to go and start die cutting lots of embellishments, sentiments and bits and pieces like that and then I'll go okay, for Okay so I've made my first bookmark and what I've done here is I've just cut a piece of card that matches the theme that I'm doing. This is one and a quarter by, say five and three quarters would be fine and then on top of that I've matted another piece which is one inch by five and a half. Run it through my laminator so now I've got a really nice but my, obviously you can run a sentiment through there as well if you want but I've got things going on already and also what I've done is I've just got this little punch here die cut two for each flower so there's two for the six die cuts all together and I've put tiny little um, embellishments in the middle and I've stuck them down and just lifted up all the little edges there okay so then with this one here all I need to do is just hole punch the top like so and then I've got this gold here. I do need to iron this. Um, I've just grabbed it quickly now just to show, but I will make that flatter. Um, but this is quite a nice little bit of ribbon because it's got a gold trim um, around it. And again, it's got the creamy tones and stuff which match like so. Actually, I think I've got away with that. And then I just cut off one and then I do one slightly longer like so. Yeah, I will need to make that look a bit neater. And that's going to sit in like so. Then I'm not sure, I did think I could maybe stick it on the outside of the bookmark with love on the top there or have it stuck down here or have this sentiment. I'm still not sure with my sentiments. You can see I've got all kinds of bits here but I've got these other little tags which I'm going to laminate I think and I'm going to have them maybe in here as another like little pocket I'm going to do on the side so I'm going to go on now and do the next bit and I'll just keep talking you through okay each page. so it turns out that I carried on recording chatting away and I forgot to press record so <laughs> I have finished it pretty much I've still got a couple of little bits to it but um yeah I was <laughs> um by the time I'd realised I'd done that, you can imagine I was uh, a bit miffed. So I've taken a few minutes, stepped away, and now I've come back just to show you what I've done. So um, this is the front. So I've got this um, little bookmark here, and I've just stuck a little sentiment on the top. I've added this flower here, which I've just die cut, put a little embellishment in. I've put some little leaves on here as well that I've just die cut. These little flowers here. I can't remember what I did say before I'd done. Um, I die cut that one, the happy birthday, the same as I'd done on this one here. Um, and then I've just added some flowers. I think I'm going to keep it plain now, I'm not sure. It's something I can always add to if I want to. Um, and then in these ones here, I just need to laminate them, but I've got two little 
kind of little bookmarks, little note cards. I can write nice little messages on the back there. And then on the bottom, so I think when I showed it to you last, this was just plain. So I've added another little fence along here. Now this one measures, let me just grab. So this is coming in at the same width as the card, actually, so it's easy to do. The height of it is one and three quarters. So it's, it's exactly the same um, as the one on the back, which I did show you. Um, so yeah, so I really like that page actually, and I think that's really nice with, like I said, put a little message on there. Um, again, I could put more embellishments on there if I wanted to. And then on this side here, I need to do something more with this, but I need a better, um, a bookmark or little um, note card or something to go in there so but it's nice it's there ready for when I do need it and on the back one there I've done that one I've just popped happy birthday stamp on the back and then I've put a little thing there happy birthday wishing you a day filled with joy and happiness and then the back is just plain again you could put a little made with um, made by me little um, stamp or something so um, yeah so that's what I've got I really love them I just think they're so cute and just very different in terms of what I've used because I don't tend to do um, use this um, hunky dory stuff um, but for those of you that do and that is this one here in the middle the pink is the one that has been done how you're supposed to do it and it does look really really cool but like I said on the back there all I've done is not stick it all the way down so just stick along the outer part and then it just creates a really nice pocket and just gives it something more I think so that was that one and then again that side there you can see how it all lifts up it looks really nice so I think I might put some little flowers here now as well because I've still got room to and then that was that one again which I need to work on there but again you can see how lifted that all is and again if you've got a bookmark there it can just sit in behind there really nicely or um, you know, it doesn't have to be a bookmark, like I said, it can just be a little note card, um, little scrapbooking page. And again, I've got room there to put, obviously, down inside that one as well. But that one can be dressed up a bit more as well. So, yeah, hopefully I've given you lots of inspiration. I've given you the basic sizes anyway and the page and showed you how to put it together and distress it and all that kind of stuff. The rest is up to you. So I'll share all the links to the products that I did use. In terms of the names, the majority of all of the pages that I have taken all the parts from are... Uh, don't know if I did from that one. I think my mum done a card with that one, actually. Um, but it's, um, it's the Primrose Lane collection and this is home is where the heart is um home sweet home the little fences little picket fence there blossom blossom garden picket fence um this one's rose cottage another blossom garden glorious garden and home is where the heart is and rose cottage so a lot of them are you know they, they all match basically that i just found the colors all worked really well together and stuff so if you've got any of those um maybe this is another you know way to use them so um as always please share what you make i love seeing them and i get sent lots of emails and messages with all your fantastic makes and i really do like i said i thoroughly enjoy seeing them so make sure you share them across on my facebook page mix up craft um, otherwise check out everything all the links will be below this video um, and on my blog as always um, thanks for watching hope you like it please give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe to the channel to see more thanks for watching bye